Hey guys, today's tools from the install bay. We're gonna start a new series on polarity testers. We got some new polarity testers in, we got some old ones. We just wanna go back and tell you guys all about polarity testers. So today is part one, and the product we're gonna be featuring is Mobile Solutions PT2. Let's get started. So the question would be, what is polarity and why is it important to my car audio system? And the simple answer to that is when you connect a power and a ground, there's a positive and a negative. You connect that to the speaker and the speaker is going to move either out or in, depending on what type of signal you have or which way the signal is coming into the speaker. Now, neither way is technically wrong. A speaker can move out, a speaker can move in and still perform its sound adequately. Some cars actually come with polarity so the speakers move in, some come with the polarity so the speaker moves out. So the direction really really isn't the most important thing. What is the most important thing is that if you have more than two speakers that they all move in the same direction. And the reason why is because they'll cancel each other out. And a good way to kind of wrap your head around that is with noise canceling headphones. Basic noise canceling headphones have microphones on them that listen to the outside sounds. And then they reverse that sound into the headphones and that polarity change there will cause the noise canceling. You can also see this effect in subwoofers. If you hook two subwoofers out of polarity with one another and they're moving like this, you get very little bass. And then when you hook them both in the same direction, now you get tons of bass. It's true for the smaller speakers as well. What effect will it have on your stereo? Well, if left is out of polarity with your right, they're gonna be moving like this. You're gonna get some form of cancellation. So making sure that they're both going in the right direction is in key. They can either all be moving in or they can all be moving out. But that's not to say that you don't want to have specific speakers out of polarity with other speakers. So for example, sometimes you want to put the tweeters out of polarity with the mid bass in the door. That's fine, but you just want to do it from a planning standpoint, meaning that you want to do that and not have it done by accident. You don't want to have one tweeter out of polarity with the other tweeter because you'll get cancellation there. Is there an audible sound difference between it? Well, yeah, if you have diminished bass response, that's audible. For me, I get like a seasick feeling when I'm in a car that has speakers out of polarity. It just screws with my equilibrium. So making sure that it's correct is very important. This series is going to focus on a bunch of different polarity testers that we've acquired and show you guys from simple polarity testers to just using your phone. But today we're going to start with the Mobile Solutions PT2. It's a handheld device. It's simple to use. Let's take a look. So this is the box that it comes in. Let's go ahead and open it up. So inside the box, you see a little alarm style 12 volt battery, the actual tool itself, a little lanyard to hang it on a real basic instruction manual that is written in Chinese as well as English. And then the test CD itself. Now this has a left stage speaker, a right stage speaker, and a polarity pulse. So there's three tracks on the disc. Now for this test, we will be using the CD. And I understand not all of you guys have CD players. And for that, you know, you, you could use your phone or something like that. We will have one of those in a later video. But for this video, we are going to concentrate on just using the supplied CD. I'll go ahead and remove this from the packaging here. On the back, you'll see there's a little release. Alright, so we press the button, we get a green light. Now I'm not going to put this lanyard on this piece, and the reason why is because this is a black lanyard on a black tool, and a car that's typically black. I'm going to go ahead and put a bright colored lanyard on this. So there we go, we have the red lanyard on. This was a pain. They could have done a little bit better job as far as making this hole for the lanyard. Alright, so according to the instructions, which is like most polarity testers that we have, we put the CD in, we play the track, it's going to go green, green, red, or red, red, green. There again, neither one is wrong as long as all the speakers are doing the same thing. Let's go into the car now and we'll give this thing a test. So now we're playing track three. It's a six minute track. So now what we want to do is go ahead and take this wand and put it as close to the speaker grill as we can according to the instructions. And that's how that works. In this particular vehicle, we're getting ready to start an install. So as you can see over there, Fernando's got the door panel off. We're putting in some new speakers. It's good to test before you take the speakers out, the polarity, to see what each speaker is doing. Because there again, like I said, some cars are red, red, green. Some cars are green, green, red. Sometimes the tweeters up in the dash will be out of polarity with the speakers in the door. Testing it before you take it out and then testing it after will help out a lot. Testing it before you take it out will let you know that if you don't want your tweeters 
tweeters out of polarity with the speakers in the door that you need to reverse the wiring at the tweeter. Testing it when you're done will make sure that you made no mistakes because none of us are perfect. We put in hundreds of speakers and we test each one of them because hey, it happens when you're putting in an amplifier, you're putting in a radio, you have the connection at the speaker, you have a connection behind the radio, you have a connection at the amplifier. If you didn't run behind the radio and you ran your own speaker wires, you still have connection points that can get backwards. So always test with polarity. We're gonna finish this car and we'll come back and we'll do a polarity test to check it at the end. So our new mid-range is in. Let's go ahead and give it a test. We have green, green, red. So this one is good. We can go ahead and get the door panel back on. All right, so the rear doors are good. All right, so we're going to check our tweeter before we put it in. All right, and as you can see, it's red, red, green, which is not what we want. So that means our tweeter wires somehow are backwards. So we're gonna go ahead and switch these connections. So now our tweeter is pointing the right direction. So we have them all moving in the same direction now, and because we tested it before we took them out, we knew that they all moved in the same direction. So it wasn't the Ford wiring that was backward, it was the tweeter wiring that was reversed. All right guys, so this is the Mobile Solutions BT2. If you're interested in this, we'll have links to it down below. Remember, this is part of a series, this is part one, so stay tuned for part two. We're gonna look at another polarity tester. All right guys, as usual, thanks for watching. Fernando. Thank you for watching. You can find us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, also on Twitter. You guys have a great night as always, and we'll see you later next time. Bye. Bye. Now, because this thing is all black, there's no way I'm gonna not lose this. I'm gonna go ahead and cover it in some yellow heat shrink. That way we'll be able to see it in a car, you know, if we leave it sitting on the dash or something like that.